Okay, so today I'm going to talk you through the dry mix that I make for my vats. I just sort of filmed myself making up the latest batch. Um, but just before we start, I um, just want to say a few things. Uh, firstly, this has worked really, really well for me and I would definitely recommend it if you've got uh, the time and resources to do so. Um, and I think I would personally never use like a, a muesli mix or a pellet mix or anything like that. Um, and it is in the contract that I sign um, from the stud I get my rats from that I shouldn't feed them pellets. Um, but I definitely don't want this video to be like a you should do this. Um, just do your research and, and make your own decisions. And as long as you're doing what you think is best, then, then I'm happy. So no judgment. Um, and I'm not an expert. So uh, take this video as a guideline at best. And I'll leave a reading list below with a load of great resources for you to have a look at. Um, you will notice that I use scales to measure out the ingredients here, but you can just do this by volume, uh, just get a mug or something. Um, I'm just a weirdo and I like being accurate. Um, you're really aiming for sort of roughly um, accurate proportions uh, because, you know, the rats, they're not going to pay attention to how carefully you, you mix it. Uh, they're not going to be like, oh no, that's enough processed grains for me today, I'd better move on to the protein. Uh, so yeah, so don't worry about it too much um, as long as it's roughly more or less the percentage you're going for. Um, I would also recommend scatter feeding, that also helps with the issue of trying to get them to eat a, a sort of representative cross section of, of everything you put in. Um, at the moment I have two adult does and I feed them 35 grams of this mix each a day plus fresh food and I sort of scatter that about the, about the cage and yes I do also measure that out exactly to the gram but you could probably eyeball that one as well. So 50 to 60 percent of your mix is going to be the base mix um, and in this batch I am using roughly half straight grain mix and then half a rabbit muesli and this is the straight grain mix that I'm using. It's um, a base mix made by rat rations for young and female rats that I really like and what it has in it is uh, flaked barley, paddy rice, groats, flaked peas, flaked wheat, whole wheat, buckwheat and white dairy and the other half um, of the base mix is Harrison's Banana Brunch, which is a rabbit food. Um, and what's in that is uh, cooked flaked barley, oats, flaked maize, flaked beans, wheat discs, uh, banana chips, flaked carrot, banana essence, and then vitamins and minerals. Uh, the advantage of adding in a rabbit muesli like this is that it already has the vitamins added to it. Um, but I don't always include it, sometimes I just go for all straight grains. And I think either way, I, I do supplement uh, just a bit more if I'm not using the Banana Brunch. Um, and what you should supplement with is um, Dr. Squiggle's Daily Essentials is a good one. You can add that to water um, and also Calcivet, which you can also add to water. And uh, my rats really love this. When I make up a water bottle with these in, it's, it's, they drink it immediately. So it's really not, it's not hard to supplement um, vitamins at all. So those two things make up the vast majority of the base mix but at this point I also do add two other things I add some mixed uh, millet seeds because uh, I just think I just really like them and I also add some barley rings uh, which I do crush up a bit rather than just put them in whole um, if you can put them in a freezer bag and hit them with something that's the easiest way to do it um, so that brings us on to the next section of the mix which um, is processed grains and it should make up about 20 to 25 percent and I'm currently using four different processed grains and they're all made from a different grain just for variety. Uh, the first one is Asda's own rice snaps. You'll find that generally the uh, supermarket's own brands are less high in sugar than sort of branded cereal um, and yeah, these are all sort of below 5 percent sugar which is what you want. Uh, so yeah, I've got the Asda's own rice snaps. I also have Sainsbury's own cornflakes. Again, these are much lower in sugar. And then as well as that, I crush up some of Tesco's wheat biscuits. Um, how small I make them kind of depends. Uh, and then finally, I also crush up some plain original rye vita. This is also very low in sugar. Um, there are a whole bunch of flavours, I imagine a lot of them would go down really well, but I just have a plain one. So the next section is going to be the protein section, it's going to be about 5-10%. to 10 I've decided that I wanted to include a variety of proteins which do include animal proteins. Uh, again, this is up to you, do your research, make your own decisions. Uh, so I have four, three of which are animal proteins and one of which is a vegetable protein. The first one that I have is um, a kibble 
which is it's Burns Chicken and Brown Rice Adult Cat Kibble. And um, that is one of the animal proteins that I have. The other animal protein I have is dried freshwater shrimp. I just prefer this to mealworms. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the other one. And the last animal protein is egg biscuit, um, which actually I'm not sure if that's still available to buy on rat rations. Uh, so I think I might be phasing this one out and looking for another sort of vegetable protein uh, to balance it out because I've currently only got one and that is flaked soya which is the only non-animal product um, and I think it's often what the protein section in sort of whole rat pellets is I think that's that's the protein source for them uh, but yeah I think I'd like to maybe look at replacing the egg so the next section of the mix is going to be about 5% and it is going to be seeds and I use three different types of seed at the moment and I picked them um, based on having sort of good omega oils but not being super high in fat otherwise. Uh, so that is hemp and linseed and pumpkin seeds in their shell uh, just for some extra sort of foraging opportunities. And I sort of keep them all mixed together in a box and I just weigh out the 5% the there. So the last section here is going to be vegetables and herbs. and I, again, I chose these for being sort of a good source of vitamins and minerals um, and not being um, very sugary, so I, that's why I don't add any fruit um, apart from the bananas that are in the Harrison's Banana Brunch. There's no fruit in this mix. So the vegetables and herbs that I use, um, I have uh, dried leek and I also have some dried pepper and then some dried carrot. And finally, I have some dried dandelion. Um, as I said, I don't add any fruit, but I do also have some bananas, some dried bananas and some dried apples that I keep aside and do use as treats. I just don't put them in the main mix. So yeah, that's pretty much my mix. Um, I do also feed them fresh food, sort of probably every day, including one wet protein meal a week, um, some cooked carbohydrates like pasta or something like that a few times, um, and quite a lot of vegetables, some fruit but I can make another video about that if anyone's interested. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this has been useful or interesting or some combination thereof.